Hi, I'm Clyde with NRS. I'm here today on the banks of the North Fork of the Clearwater River here in Idaho to talk to you about cataract oars. Personally, this is a neat thing for me to be back up here along the, uh, along the North Fork. First time I ever stepped into a raft and got hooked on this, on this sport was here on the North Fork. And now, about 35 years later, I have just as much fun as I did that first time. Or maybe, maybe a little more. So anyway, here today to talk to you about cataract oars. Cataract oars are made by Advanced Composites. It's a company that also does a lot of work in the aerospace industry using the same techniques and materials that are used in these oars. In fact, some of the people at Cataract are passionate rafters and uh, decided they could build a better oar shaft and by golly, I think that they've succeeded. Cataract gives you two different shaft options. The SGG oars are probably our most popular oar shaft. They're great for the majority of boaters. And the things that people like about them is they have a, a flex similar to a wooden oar. So when you take a stroke, the oar flexes slightly, and then when it rebounds, it puts that energy that you've put into it back into the water and giving you a very efficient and natural stroke. These are SGGs, and the you can see these are, they're not brand new, but they have, they have some river miles on them, but you can see how nice and, nice and shiny they are. This is pretty much what they look like when they come out of uh, Advanced Composites factory. Very light in weight, less fatiguing to row with. The other option you get are the SGX oars, and they're 33% stiffer than the SGGs. So it makes them ideal for people that are rowing big boats with heavy loads. These oars got a lot of river miles on them, but uh, as you can see, the coating and everything is still nice and smooth. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot more miles that you can put on these before they need to be refinished, which you can do yourself. So two different choices of oar shafts, SGGs, SGXs. In addition to that, you get things like the option of counterbalanced handles, approximately four pounds of weight here in the handle, which evens out the swing weight, taking less energy. Uh, each stroke you take, that can be a, a real, uh, real desirable thing. Also, you get an option of a factory rope wrap. It's a nice, quiet system in the oar lock. Fishermen especially really like that because it's quiet, it doesn't spook the fish. You can also put the, uh, the molded oar sleeves on here that will fit. And if you desire, you can also put on, an, put on the oar rights here that uh, lock into the oar lock and, and keep your blade oriented. Or you can put a uh, stopper on there and let the uh, shaft rotate 360 degrees, just whichever you desire. So another great option with the uh, cataract oar shafts is that the blades are interchangeable with the other blades that we carry, the Carlisle blades. Cataract has three different blades that you can choose from. Their original six and a quarter inch wide blade, you could also get an optional tip protector that you'd slide over the end and, uh, and glue on, which you know really protects against rocks. There's also the Magnum blade, which is seven inches wide. It's probably our most popular. It's tough, it's burly, it, it enters the water real cleanly. And then, especially for fishermen, you have the choice of the razor blades. They're made with a carbon outer layer, and then to give them durability, there's a dynel edging that goes around the perimeter of the blade. And the fishermen really like them because of that thin profile. They enter the water very cleanly and quietly. And another nice thing about the razors is they're 20% lighter than the other two choices of cataract blades, which especially with fishermen, the combination of razor blades and rope wrap is something that we see for a lot of rafters who are fishing and also drift boaters. That's a choice that they often make. And then the blades float, and the reason I like that is that when you drop that oar in the water, the blade floats up near the surface of the water, and it's uh, not as likely to get down and catch on a rock and uh, damage the blade or shoot that oar shaft right back at you. So two different shaft options, interchangeable blades, counterbalance handles, rope wrap, you get all the features and performance that you personally are looking for no matter what kind of boating you're doing with the cataract or system.